Hi, this is Told. Welcome. Today we're playing a little food magic. <laughs> I originally titled this uh, Dre's Talent because we're, you know, going for the uh, kind of mill plan with Scavenger's Talent. Um, but then, uh, you know, uh, since I was doing all this food, you know, Dre leader with food, and, you know, I figured it doesn't really matter. We really want to, what we really want to do is we want to sacrifice and bring stuff back. Well, that being said, um, the Viper, right? Over to Vault Burn? Mm hmm. Hmm. Do you want both? One and one? Ooh, it's a tough call. One and one. Let's do it. Um, yeah, so we want to sack permanents, mill them out. And we're just going to make a lot of food. We're going to make some map tokens. You know, hopefully, you know, we're making some, you know, a little bit of creatures. A little bit of creatures. A little bit of tokens. 18 creatures. You know, we got the free booty. Got the wormlet in there because we're making so many enchantments and gain some life. You know, get this hydra out. Nice big Hydra, give us a bunch of treasure tokens to sacrifice, and, you know, Liliana to help us, you know, get rid of some of their stuff and become a problem. Then we got Braids in there for the auto-sacrifice. You know, mostly we're looking to probably sacrifice food for, for mana, but, uh, you know, if we don't, you know, we'll just grow Sir Ginger and the likes. So let's get in some games, see how we do. Time to build some reanimation into the deck, huh? What do we want to do? I mean, we want this talent out because they're going to kill whatever I put out. The question is, do you go with the meal ender? Probably go wormlet then. Or do we go mill? So if we do this on one, and then this on two... And then on three, we can upgrade and Wormlet. Oh, we miss out on a plus one, plus one counter on the Wormlet. But we get a chance to do possibly three damage to them. I think the mill is not that important right now. And I think we're going to go Liliana on three, if they kill my Wormlet. If they don't kill my Wormlet, definitely going with that. Liliana of the Veil. You like sacrifice, bro? I like sacrifice. You could sack your creature, too. Enjoy. Candy Trail. Ginger. Full hand emptied, depending on what I draw. Yeah, why not? Mm. The porridge. Oh, I messed up. Messed up. Well, I wanted the porridge in, but I could have just put this guy out. Ah. Oh no, it has to sack it. Let's go, bro. Drop it. Go for the throat. Definitely a useless card. You have another. You have a pixie thing? What the heck? How important is Liliana? Uh. Eh. Not that important, right? Get some green, I guess. You mill some cards, man. Let me help you out with that reanimation strategy. Oh, two lands. 
Hope you didn't need those. <laughs> hmm. What's the strategy here, huh? Two damage to target creature. Oh, so I'm not sacking it, so I might as well just attack, right? Hmm. So I could bring a wormlet back. Doesn't seem really good. Oh, that's great. Fantastic draw. So if they try to kill Ginger, I can sack Ginger. I can pump Ginger. Try to pump it. JB Jelly. Hmm. Huh. I like the three bowls of porridge. I like the cookie too. These are both great cards. Let me get one of those. Right? Mill, mill, mill. Ooh, is that a forge? Uh, yeah, we want that on top. Urabrask's Forge? You are cooking, huh? Do I want to eat the food? No. I think I just want to tap his guy down. I think so. Another Tithing Blade? Oh, thanks for the sacrifice. <sighs> I had to tap it. Doesn't really matter. I mean, the mill plan is, is there, but he still has 40 cards. Really slow, the mill plan. More tilling blades, please. Do I block you? Probably not. You go ahead and attack. You could have the um, plus two, plus zero, infinity. It's a pretty good one. You top deck that, huh? Deadly cover up. Oh, I only have two of them in the deck. One, two, three, four, five. What's in the grave, huh? Porridge is pretty good. I think we'll do these three. They look good. Get this guy back. Would have been nice to have him out before I did that, but... Deadly cover-up, you don't need that. The end. Fell. You don't need none of those. Regular removal. Or a rest, so you're just like a dickhead deck. Uh, no blocks. How many cards left? You got 40. It's not gonna do it. damage I like that okay 
<laughs> you did it wrong. Oh, maybe you didn't do it wrong. Maybe you did it correctly. But I guess you could have done it at any speed. Four, five, six. I need one more. One more land. Probably. Maybe I should keep that around? Probably should have kept that around so I could bring back the Vaultborn Tyrant. That's our you know, only other big card. I don't have anything to deal with the muscle. Oh, I should have kept it. Oh. Oh, no, this is a talent. Oh, you're doing the same thing I'm doing. Um, two damage seems pretty good. If only I was playing some Tithing Blades. Are you going to start milling me? Where's the rest of my ta scavenger's talent? I think I have removal in the deck. Now that he has no creatures out. Look at that, level 3 instantly. Amazing. So you could bring back whatever. So if I kill it, you bring it back. Okay, I do have removal in the deck. How about that? Lots of removal, look at that. Which is vanity, bitter triumph. Zero answers. Um, yeah, pay, auto pay. You know what? This is a much better play, right? Because if they kill it, it goes in the graveyard, and then I could Viper. They do have a removal spell. Black mana? Yeah, you can mill. Mill, mill, mill. Oh, the end! One, two, three, got one more of those left. You want black man, I guess? I don't know. What you gonna do, muscle? What are you doing? What? When you sacrifice another creature, exile cards equal to its mana value of top of players until that. Until your next end step, you may play those cards. Yeah, way to rip off my only removal spell, you know? And something that makes you more freaking tokens for the Viper. Ah, oh, pretty nice, pretty good deal. And another sacrifice outlet. Pretty good, muscle. Just don't kill my Vaultborn. Don't kill it, bro. Don't do it, bro. Don't kill it, bro. Five, six, seven. That's pretty good, right? That's pretty good. It's a pretty good, pretty good card. It's a pretty good one. 
Good card to exile. Oh, you're looking at it though. I think we just send the Hydra in. Okay. Give me a food. I like the food. That means I can bring him back. And I draw a card. I already played a land. That sucks. Wait till the end step to play your lands. So you can block and then sack. You don't kill my Hydra. Mm hmm. It's a pretty good combo. I mean, you're doing much more, much better job of milling me than I, than I am. And you get a Hydra? You get a Hydra? Uh. Decline? But you're at seven life. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, a matching Hydra. 33. I need a talent. Is he milling any of my talents? No. Oh, he played the freebooter. He screwed up. Why didn't he just Hydra? Yeah. It's not enough. <sighs> you could have a bunch of tap treasures. You're probably gonna mill me out. That'll do it. Tap them down, though. But then you're dead. Okay. Like, you needed the blocker, right? Is he gonna mill me? Oh, he only does it once per turn. Doesn't look like you're getting there. Put this cottage out. Put this viper out. Do I have anything I want to bring back? The talent is pretty cool, but I can't bring that back. So I bring. Return creature. The tyrant. I got plenty of stuff to sacrifice. If only I had haste. Do, do, do. So he can mill me three more cards, four or five more cards. He needs to do that in my upkeep, actually. This is too aggressive. Ooh, now that's a thing I didn't see. If only you had more mana. They're tapped, bro. They come in tapped. You don't play the Hydra, they come in tapped. <laughs> Keep trying to tap them. Hmm. Oops. You don't have any mana. I said good game a while back. That's uh, two more cards. It's really close. Uh, is it? Am I dead? Uh... My draw, sack the treasure. No, oh, my hat, my Uberance. Oh, that's a epic. 
The fact that he was able to get there is amazing. I should have just attacked him. I mean, it didn't really matter. It doesn't matter. <sighs> I keep it. I got Candy Trail for Surveil. I got Liliana on three if I get mana. Surveil looks at two cards, and I draw a card. So that's technically three cards off the top. One of those is going to be a land, for sure. Hopefully it's a green land. That's why this is a keeper. Candy Trail is just a very good card. Mono blue counter spells. Will Liliana make it out? So hopefully we get the cookie out and the sentinel out. They can't have too many counter spells, right? We want the fable passage as well. I think we do want as much mana as possible. Cookie on two. Cookie on two. Confectioner on three, maybe? Create a food token. I really want to get them tapped out and get Lily out. Because once you get Liliana out, that screws their game plan up. Excellent. Like, it's just horrible for them, right? So now they have to be aggressive, they have to push the pace. Maybe they don't have any of the other counter spells. That's also a sign, right? What do I want to discard? The Hydra? Or the Fable Passage? I don't really want to discard the Fable Passage. I'm putting one of these two out. I think we're going with the Confectioner. Although Confectioner is kind of better. We'll start with discard. I will discard this tapped land. And you can fill your graveyard up. <laughs> we all have things we'd rather. That'd be cool if he demo field my Fable Passage. What? What is in your hand? I'm just in shock. This is. Like reanimation? Are you playing white? I'm just in shock that you got rid of the haughty gin. You could have cast that on your turn. And I could have sacrificed Lily, but I didn't want to sacrifice Lily. Wow. I want something to discard. Don't overthink things. Man, these are all good cards, man. I mean, they're just going to get countered, right? Another haughty gin? You have a f you have fourth one in your hand. <laughs> uh, you have a fourth haughty gin in your hand. Amazing. You might as well just cast it. Oh, I see. Uh -huh. The cottage. I don't think we need the cottage. I mean, we have to get this down right now. And I think it's the Sentinel that has to go, unfortunately. Maybe I didn't need to discard there, but... 
trying to get stuff out of their hand. This is amazing. And the Sentinel's pretty good. But if the Hydra gets out. The Hydra's coming out eventually. Right? I guess I should have plus Lily. I don't even know if I'm plusing Lily. Did we just do this? Yeah, I'm good. I don't need to do anything else. Although I do have one card, but I like my one card. My one card kills their haughty Jin. So for three sacrifices, yeah, the Sentinel would be great to get it on the board. I mean, my mill plan's coming together. I guess I need to be more aggressive with Liliana. One, two. We'll start the pain train. Uh, yeah, let's just do it, man. If you get a Jin, you get a Jin. I got a sacrifice outlet. We need the ultimate anyway. Right, the closer we get to ultimating, the better. Can level this up next turn. Another season of weaving. Oh no, flow of knowledge, that's a pretty good one. They should get something there to deal with stuff. Nothing? I mean, you have like Eddie Mercury or Eddie Crab. You have one more Jin. I mean, this is a great card to land. <laughs> Food. Each player discards a card. You need to get rid of some of those lands anyway. You didn't need those. How many cards left? You got 30? 15 permanents of sacrifice. 1, 2. If this guy dies, 3. I don't really want to draw. Right? It took you that long to figure out you want to get rid of a land? Really? Now the move would be, that would be a pretty sweet move, is when I use Liliana to discard, you return that to my hand. Well, that would have been a better move. Right? So then I would, it would force me to discard the Hydra, so they misplayed there. Although this is, a, no, this is an instant speed. Oh, so you could use it on Liliana once I get to ultimate range. Ah, uh, we're definitely drawing here, for sure. I don't want to mill myself. I'm trying to get you out of cards. Spell guy or demolition field. That's a good discard. Dang it. Um, let's discard cards. I don't like this land. I wish I had some more card draw, though. I 
I mean, come on. I know you got more islands in your hand. Emish. The fourth haughty gin, you just discarded like nothing. It's amazing. It was amazing. What can I bring back? The Sentinel of the Nameless Sir Ginger. The Sentinel looks pretty good. You could sack the Hydra and get a bunch of treasures. If I can cast it. 29 cards left. 15 permanents. <sighs> you know I'm ultimate in next turn. <laughs> do I think what do I think about the teething teething wormlet? I think the only removal spells they're gonna have is gonna be bounce spells. And I think the sentinel is a pretty good pickup. One, two, three. We're on our way. Yeah, 15. That was three. And then we get another one for four. So the clock. So then we just need uh, 11 more mills. Maybe. Oh, I get two food tokens for creatures. Or one for creature dying. One for... I should have got it. Oh, once per turn. Yeah. That's three more. Ah, yeah, draw your cards. Uh, 16. Eight tokens. One, two, three. I could sack him. Oh, he doesn't. What is it? Get out of here. Oh, you sacrifice. Yeah, so I could sack him to bring back the mentor. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying, bro. But I could bring back the mentor. Which makes me another token. Well, the good news is... Eight more permanents. Here's three. He's going to draw two cards, at least. So we'll just say seven more permanents. That is fantastic. Let's do it, bro. You have a tide binder? That'd be awesome. Four, four. Hmm. Oh. I messed up, huh? I should have waited on that cottage. Ah, <laughs> oh, what a mistake. Always play the land last. Hello? You can keep all your tap lands, or you can keep um, the demolition field. <laughs> uh, next to combat. The Sentinel of the Nameless City seems pretty good. Like a pretty good play. I don't think you're winning this one, Amish. You discard haughty gins like they're nothing. <laughs> they're going out of style. One Liliana. Ulting the game. You're just making the game take longer, bro. Uh, next to attackers. Uh, I want to do this because I won't have any targets, right? You. That's a pretty good one. I can keep that on top. I think this, um, 
Ooh, this guy's pretty good. Whenever I sack a food, I get a rat. And then I could sack a rat. To mill more stuff? Finally, jeez. Uh, Sentinel. You can deal with mono red pretty easily. Right? False confidence? Ooh. Yeah, and that's a nice. Oh, you're not a fight deck. Okay. I said it was went green green. Hmm. Rampin' dinosaurs, is my guess, right? Dino Ramp. Give me that life gain. That sweet life gain. Some card draw would be good, like uh, the greedy thing. Uh. 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 Is it once per turn? Uh. And that sucks. I mean, I guess I gain life, but that's pretty good. I really want that ramp, and it's like a tally time, right? Four, five, six, one land, tally time. Ooh. What, Jolene? If you attack with one or more power, four greater, create a treasure token. Sacrifice treasure, Jolene, but it is one damage to any target. You do know it has like death touch, right? Did you know that? This is mana value three or less. Oh, are you three? Pay three life. Yep. Hopefully you don't have protection. That's interesting. Come on, map token. Oh my god, come on, bro. Whenever you sacrifice a food, the dragon hawk. Another card I cannot kill with these other cards. No attacks. Ha! <sighs> They're at ten. That is a mistake. I mean, things are just getting worse, right? Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. Is that right? Six, seven, eight, nine. One short because I, uh, the two map tokens I used, both. Um. Failed. They get a beast of a creature, but you can't do nothing. Cookie too strong. 
Cookie too strong. All right, and we're back. So, pretty run of the gamut on those games. Um, you know, it's a grindy deck. It has enough removal. You know, the Porridge Bowl is a card that's underplayed, right? So for two da it does two damage to a creature, so it removes a creature. It taps down an attacker, so it's possibly, you know, like five life gain. If you look at it as, I stopped your guy from hitting me for five. And then you could sack it again for another three. So it has like two life gain potentials. And, you know, possibly even if you count it as three life gain potentials, if you kill a creature that's going to attack you, right? Um, just fantastic. Uh we, you know, some card draw would be nice. This stupid guy can go bye-bye. Spree. <laughs> I mean, I didn't see it in five games. Gotta go. Every other card made an appearance. You did not. You're out, Braids. You don't not need it, right? That's why I remove cards when you, uh, when you don't see them, if you play enough and you don't see them and you're winning without them, I went four and one. The first one was the first forced loss, the game that I lost, and then I went four and zero oh after that for forced loss. So, if I'm winning games without it, then you don't need it in the deck, right? It'd be better to have more Sir Gingers or more, uh, you know, mentors are pretty sweet. Are the mentors better than this thing? Probably. Right? We don't have any enchantment thing where we're like, I mean, the only thing, you know, we, we can keep one of these. Right? And is the cookie better, right? The cookie, you know, you're not second it. The Hydra, while good, it has a potential to be really good if you can get a big Hydra out and they kill it. Right? Maybe we go down one on the vanity. And up on this. This is really good value, right? You're getting a creature, you get a food, you get a creature as a blocker, then you get another food when it dies. Whereas the tough cookie, you'd have to sacrifice it. You know, it's only two, if, and you'd have to sack it. The I like the little split on the viper and the tyrant. We're not all about reanimating. What we are about reanimating is like stuff like that, stuff like this, you know. Those are the things we want to reanimate. You know, we got the wormlet in there for the health and early game. The freebooter, I really didn't see many freebooters, but, you know, it's good. And I think the avarice is a great replacement for braids. Although braids, you know, you could sack every turn. Just being able to draw three cards, being able to search up the talent that you need or whatever card you need and draw it, I think would be just better. The uh, scene of the crime is in there for a sack outlet and a draw. Is it just better to do Fable Passage? I think. Mm. So it does play well with Sir Ginger. And draws a card. Hmm. It's a tough call. We'll leave it in. You could probably swap out for Fable Passage if you want. It is an uncommon, so if you don't have four Fable Passages, it's a good alternative. Um, but it's basically in there, so you could pay two, sack it, draw a card, and then, you know, it'll pump up Ginger. It counts as a sack outlet for this talent. Um, you know, and that, you know, although Fable Passage is searching out and thinning your deck, you know, this is drawing you a card and hopefully drawing you into stuff. So, yeah, this has been told. Like and subscribe. See you next time.